Welcome everyone to Instant InDesign, the video podcast for learning template design and high-speed production skills. I'm your host, Gabriel Powell. And this is Episode 7, Automating Layouts with the Easy Catalog Plugin for InDesign, Part 1. Easy Catalog is a powerful and easy-to-use database publishing solution for Adobe InDesign. This amazing plugin allows you to publish content directly from a database or a spreadsheet into InDesign, and it makes it easy to keep all of your information up to date. In this episode, I'm going to introduce you to Easy Catalog and show you just how powerful it can be. I'm going to automate the production of a product catalog and a price list, and then in part two, I'll show you how to create the catalog template from start to finish. Let's take a look at the final catalog that I'll be creating. All of these products are from the Building Materials category, which is listed at the top of each page. And notice that the subcategory is listed at the top edge of each page. Each product contains an image, the name of the product, a description, and a table, which lists the price for each item within the product group. Also notice that some of these products are on sale. If they're on sale, they contain a red sale logo. Now imagine how much work it would be to manually produce this catalog. <laughs> that would be a lot of work. But if you use Easy Catalog to import the data into InDesign, you can produce this catalog with just a few clicks of your mouse. Let me show you how that's done. I'll switch over to InDesign. Here we're looking at the final catalog template. It contains all of the elements that repeat consistently from page to page. At the bottom of the page are the page numbers, the name of the catalog, and the phone number. At the top of the page is the name of the company, Boyd's Hardware, and there are also some placeholder text frames, which contain the category and subcategory information. I'll zoom in on them, because I'd like you to notice that they're both surrounded by brackets. These brackets are called field markers. I used Easy Catalog to insert them. Since they're sitting statically on the page, they're referred to as furniture data. After I've paginated this catalog with products, all I have to do is update the furniture data, and these two placeholders will get their information from the product data that's on the page. All right, I'll go ahead and zoom out. And let me show you another important component of this template, which is the object library. It contains the sample design that represents a typical product in the catalog. This sample design is referred to as the product style. I'll zoom in on it so you can get a closer look. This frame with the X in it is a placeholder image frame. This text frame to the right contains the sale logo and field specifiers for the product name and the description copy. The brackets surrounding each of these field specifiers are field markers, just the same field markers that you saw a moment ago with the furniture data. And down below is a table, which contains boilerplate text in the header row. This will remain the same for each product. The body row contains field specifiers for the item number, the description, the unit, and the price. So now that you've seen the template and the product style, let me introduce you to the Easy Catalog data panel. All of the Easy Catalog panels can be found up here in the window menu within the Easy Catalog panel submenu. So far I've only created one, so only one exists in this menu. I'll go ahead and select it, and the panel opens up here. This panel contains all of the data for the catalog. Now, keep in mind that the data can either be imported directly from a database using ODBC technology, or you can import a simple comma delimited or tab delimited text file. In this case, I just imported a comma delimited file. Now, if you've used data merge before, you should know that Easy Catalog isn't limited to paginating just one record at a time like data merge is. Easy Catalog lets you group individual records together into logical groupings. So here the data has been organized by category, then subcategory, and then by product group. 
And here you can see that the building materials category contains 10 subcategories. The building panel subcategory contains 13 products. And this particular product contains three items. Some products contain just one item. And others, such as this one, contain even 15. So when you're ready to populate a product style with data, all you have to do is select a product in the data panel drag that product from the panel and then drop it right on top of the product style and it's quickly populated with all that information. Notice that this particular product is on sale so the sale logo has stayed. I'll go ahead and undo this command or control Z. Watch what happens if I populate the product style with a product that isn't on sale. That sale logo is smart enough to disappear. So that can easily be done with Easy Catalog. And the great thing is, you don't have to have any scripting or programming skills. This drag and drop method that I just used is great for layouts that don't have a predictable design. And if you need to, you can create several product styles. Just keep them in the library, and then whenever you want to use a particular design, just populate it with data. You can even speed up the pagination process by going to the library panel menu and converting this to an easy catalog library. So then, all I have to do is select some data. I'll go ahead and pull this panel out. I'll select some data. And once you have that data selected, just drag any library item out of the library onto the page and it's instantly populated with that selected data. Now if you want even more automation than that, you can take advantage of Easy Catalog's pagination module, which allows you to paginate many, many records with a single click of your mouse. Let me show you how that works. I'll go ahead and clean up these panels a bit. All right, I'll select these records and delete them off the page. I'll go ahead and zoom out. I'll fit the spread into the window by pressing Option Command 0 or Alt Control 0 on the PC. And I need to place my cursor within this first text frame. So there are actually four text frames on this page. If I select this first text frame with the selection tool, you can see that it's connected to other text frames. So I just need to make sure that my cursor is blinking within this first text frame. And then I'll go to the catalog data panel, which contains all of my data, and I really just want to paginate this subsection called building panels, which contains 13 records. So I'll just make sure that it's selected, and then I'm going to go to the data panel menu and choose paginate. Now Easy Catalog is asking me to locate the library that contains my product style. So I would basically click choose and then locate the library. It's right here. I'll go ahead and open that up. And there are a couple of other options here that I can choose from. This particular product style was designed to paginate within a text flow, but you can also design them to paginate at positions specified in the data, at page guide positions, or by using master pages. So I'll go ahead and click OK. and InDesign has now paginated all 13 records. All I have to do now is update the furniture data. So to do that, I'll go back to the data panel. From the data panel menu, I'll choose Update Furniture. InDesign analyzes the products on the page, finds out what category and subcategory they came from, and then outputs that information up here in place of those placeholders that I had on the page. So as you can see, Easy Catalog is an amazing plugin. And since the data came from the database, you can be sure that all of the information is always correct. And another great reason to use Easy Catalog is that the data always remains connected to the database so that you can make changes in the database and quickly update your InDesign document with those changes. Let me show you how that works. I'll zoom in on this first product here, Plastic Area Wall, and I'll go ahead and change the name of the product. I'll switch over to the original spreadsheet. This is the first product within the Building Panel subsection, 
So I'll scroll down until I find that. And there it is. And here is the plastic area wall. There are actually three records associated with it. So I need to change the name for each of these three records. I'll just go ahead and type in something generic like new product name. And then I'm just going to copy this to the other cells. Now I just need to save this file. I'll go to the file menu and click save. I'll switch back over to InDesign and now in the data panel menu all I have to do is choose synchronize with data source. And then Easy Catalog tells me that three records have been updated. I'll click OK. And now I'd like you to notice that this record has red brackets around the product name, which tells me that the information that's on the page is different from the information that's in the panel. So all I have to do now is update the document. It tells me one field was updated. And there it is, the new product name. So this workflow allows the product experts on your team to enter the data into your database, and you as a designer can focus strictly on the design. You never have to insert information again. No more copying and pasting from text files. Just make sure all of the data is in the database, connected to InDesign using Easy Catalog. You can even use Easy Catalog's pagination module to quickly paginate many records of data with a single mouse click. So this is just an introduction to how you can use this data to paginate a product catalog. Now let me show you how to use the same data to populate an entirely different design. In this case, a price list. I'll go ahead and open it up. Here's the template. And I need to open up the library as well because it contains the product style that I'll be using. So all I'm going to do is click within this placeholder text frame. I'll go to the data panel. I'll select that same subcategory and then choose paginate from the data panel menu. This time I don't want to use the old library, so I'm going to make sure and choose the new one, which is the price list library. I'll open that up, click OK, and take a look at that. I've just created many pages of data. I'll zoom in on this to get a closer look, and I'll press W on my keyboard to switch to preview mode so you can see it easier. And notice that each product grouping has populated a table. Each table has the product name at the top in the blue header row. And then we have the item, description, unit, and price followed by all of the information. And it happened instantly. So this is just an introduction to Easy Catalog. And you can already see that it's incredibly powerful and it's fast. Imagine just how much time and money this can save. There is in fact so much more you can do with Easy Catalog, but there's just not enough time in one episode to show you everything. So stay tuned for part two, where I'll show you how to build the catalog template I demonstrated a moment ago from start to finish. If you have any questions about using Easy Catalog or any other InDesign feature, I'm more than happy to answer them. To ask a question, go to instantindesign.com and click the Ask a Question button.